welcome to a fashion episode on Style Mint and with me today is easily the most stylish singer in India, Anushka Manjanda. Anushka, welcome to Style Mint. Thank you. <laughs> How do you walk into a room and, you know, make everyone go wow? What's the secret? I think, you know, it's about like, you know, sometimes I put on some clothes and they just make me feel so good, you know. And when you feel so good, then, you know, it shows on your face. So I guess anyone who's feeling good about themselves, you look at them and that energy, you can feel it. I guess maybe that's maybe that's what it's about. You know, ever since your pop star days, you've been, you know, a style rocker, you know. And today, everyone thinks that you are really the most stylish uh, young singer that we have around. Do you agree? I, I, I like the sound of that, I won't lie. <laughs> but I mean, I've had my, uh, 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 like, horror moments with style also. Like? Like um, uh, leg warmers and uh, sandal heels. No, you didn't do that. I did. Do, I did that. I did that. I did. Uh, I did a lot of really uh, like I, stuff that I look back at now, and I'm like, what was I thinking when I was doing that? You know. But I, I mean, like I said, I was feeling good about it maybe even back then. So I had a great time. But I think I've evolved a lot. <laughs> Is it a better stylist or a better fashion sense? I think, um, you know, I have to say it started with uh, uh, this friend of mine who is a stylist and, uh, you know, I started spending time with her and because we were hanging out, Simran Arya her name is, and um, she opened like a new, you know, space up for me in terms of fashion and, uh, and initially it was her who was dressing me. And now it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm into it a little bit myself also. So it's fun because then we kind of put things together. Like, like I, I had this outfit and I, you know, and I'll, I'll send her a picture of myself. So what do you think? I, I think these shoes are these shoes, you know, and then we just kind of coordinate over the phone. So it's, it's like that. It's a little bit, it's comments from my whole family. Hi, are you wearing this and going out? Oh, oh, oh. Anushka, you're looking very, you're looking skinny and you're looking too tall. Don't tie your hair up, you know. So it's like, a, I think it's a collaborative effort. Right now on Anushka, there are three key trend pieces. There's a really nice printed fit and flare uh, dress that she's told me is from Pankaj and Nidhi. There are nude heels and there is a big bold cuff. How much of a trend person are you? Well, I'm I'm not really uh, uh, you know totally up to date with the trends. Not I mean not entirely. You're I, lying. I mean I just wear whatever I like. And also the thing is you know uh, when designers are making new clothes and you're wearing them, you're automatically on trend. You know like this is the last, this is the re most recent collection that Pankaj Nidhi did. And because I'm wearing this, I'm on trend. Otherwise you know what I'm saying? And like this scarf, I've been wearing it for the last like three seasons. You know, so some things, like even new deals, some things just, you know, are classic. They don't go out of style. Like this is what I say, I never realized the importance of new, importance of new deals. Before Simran Arya came into my life, I didn't have a single pair. And the first thing she did was, she said was, you don't have nude heels? How do you get dressed and go out? And now my nude heels are my most worn shoes, you know, in my, in my whatever, shoe wardrobe. So uh, I think it's, it's about, you know, it's about finding what works. For you and sticking with that like I, I don't think I can ever dress pretty you know whatever yeah, we get that. I, I'll have to you know I want to look like I feel tough I want to look you know strong right. so if it kind of fits into a trend and that's what's available in the high street stores you know so you kind of end up picking up you know that, that stuff and then nicely someone will tell you wow you're on trend and you're like oh thanks <laughs> <laughs> all right so um, what is the connect between music and fashion is there a connect at all well, there is a major connect, you know, uh, I think with music, uh, if you're making your own music also and you're going out there and representing yourself, then it's about, it's about everything, you know, how you are, how, what kind of message you want to give out, how you live, what you wear, it's, I think it's everything, I mean, that's the only way it's true, you know, I mean, if I, for me, like if I was to be someone else when I got up on stage, it would not, I don't think it would be true, you know. I am who I am, the way I am. I'm like this when I'm talking to you and I'm the same way when I get on stage. So for me, I feel like dressing up even for stage, you know, it's just, it's a part of that, it's a part of the performance, you know, and what you want to say with your clothes, you know, like whether you want to like dress up or like for me, I like to ha I like to wear my boots so I can jump around, you know, I like to do like, you know, stuff with like makeup and glitter and sequins, you know, because that's the message I'm sending out that it's, you know, what I'm doing is fun, you know, and I think it's all a part of, uh, you know, the same, same thing. 
You know, uh, talking about makeup, you're pulling off red lips like very few women can. Um, are red lips, uh, you know, currently a makeup trend that you're loving? Are they looking red? They are red. They're red. So They're I, the right shade of red for you. I, but uh, is it uh, is it a makeup trend that you're loving currently? I have always loved red lips. Uh, when I was growing up, I thought, you know, that, oh my God, I'm dark skinned and, you know, I'll always have to only wear brown lipstick <laughs> because that's the impression I had when I was growing okay. up in Delhi. And then I found uh, this shade of red called Chili, okay. uh, which is like a brick, sort of an orangey red. Do you want to tell us the brand? Yeah, from MAC. Oh. And um, that was my start, you know, with, with experimenting with reds. And this is actually a mix of orange and pink. I don't know. Really Not bad, that. but yeah. it's looking red. <laughs> it's looking red. But I did a mix of orange and pink because I, I just thought, you know, it would be... And of course, Simran and I were like, I was like, she was like, pink and I was like orange and she like just mix them both I was like yeah you know whatever let's just mix them both but uh, I think red lipstick just somehow makes you feel like a siren you know yeah. like you feel like really sexy and like it's cool I like it I like wearing red lipstick it's an instant pick me up you also do fun prints we've seen you know you've done quite a bit of quirky prints uh, right now what you're wearing is also yeah, a it. statement print what's with you and prints you know I'm not really a print person really yeah <laughs> I mean but uh, I've never been, I've always preferred like straighter lines, cleaner clothes, you know, like, but it, I think it's all about what kind of print it is. Like for me, I love this because it's a little bit psychedelic, right. you know, and it's just so well thought out, you know, that it instantly, you know, draws my attention towards it. Otherwise I feel like kitsch pitch, you know, but then again, that's also on trend, you know, <laughs> clashing prints yes, and all of that. Yes, yes. See, now see, that's something I don't know if I can pull off. <laughs> I think you can. I mean, you know, there's I barely think. anything that you can't. I'm, I'm happy you, you're saying that, you know, because I think, again, it's the same thing, you know, it's, it's, I think it's about what you project, you know, if you're like, you know, then people also sort of maybe perceive you like that. And maybe if you're, you're not really feeling your outfit and you're a bit like, you know, Down. uncomfortable and like withdrawn about it, then it shows. So I'm glad you think that I can get, you know, I'm, what about accessories? Lots of statement accessories on you, but always one piece at a time is what we've seen you do. Yeah. Uh, so tell Unless us a bit I'm about. On stage. Yeah. When I'm on stage, I, have, I pile it on. I got like chains and chains, you know, I like that whole like rock vibe. But um, I think there's so much going on with the dress in terms of the print. Although the cut is really simple, that it just it doesn't need much. So, but accessories are super important. My God, like. I, uh, you know, I have a lot of cuffs because those are what I like to wear the most. I have a couple of statement uh, neck pieces because they instant anything. I can wear a ganji and I can wear a Shiva Naresh neck piece and it right. instantly it, it adds, yeah, yeah, you know. So I think accessories are a very sensible thing to invest in. You know, it's very sensible to buy accessories, good accessories, good quality ones because you can repeat those, you know. People remember your clothes but your accessories you can still, you know, do them a couple times and so I think it's one of the most important things in a wardrobe. You know, we usually sign off with, uh, you know, our guest giving uh, all our view viewers, uh, you know, either a fashion advice yeah. or a fashion secret or something like that. With you, I think we'll do something different. Okay. We'll ask you to sing a line from one of your favorite songs. The only thing that looks good on me is you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anushka. Great talking to you. <laughs>